So this is a master volume amp, and we're playing around with today the kind of edge of breakup sounds, the kind of... There's some, these interesting switches over here that Curtis built into this. We have a classic or modern, which is basically like, do you want more cut, more punch, a little more volume in the modern setting? Versus, I prefer the classic setting. It's a little chiller, but depending on your guitar or your pedal board, I'm using no pedals today. Uh, you know, your mileage may vary. This is an interesting switch here, the fidelity, which is like kind of the compression. Again, middle is sort of neutral. Down is like a little softer, a little more compressed. And then even more so, the, the little two little plus signs is even chiller still. Now, I think for me with, uh, you know, this guitar I'm using today, the middle classic seems to work well. Now, yeah, I have the volume all the way up. So basically I'm getting my drive. This is interesting. He has a secondary drive knob, which my understanding, Curtis might have to explain it to me again. This is kind of, you know, your signal comes in, hits the first gain stage, kind of your 12AX7 there. This is sort of controlling the drive after the EQ, kind of in the middle part of the circuit. So watch, if I turn this all the way down, we're clean and chimey again. But as I bring this up halfway, let's see what happens if I bring it all the way up. I'm gonna have to double check my uh, settings on my preamp. I don't wanna blow it out here. I think today, I kind of like that about there. 